Oh, my camera. Oh. Sorry, I've just dropped the camera and don't hear me. Okay, now I'm going to add my fish because it's a little bit tough. Not very, very tough, but it needs a little bit of boiling so that it gets a little bit softer. In the pot, I've added my egg. I've added the beef, the cassava leaf, this is, this is the cassava leaf, let me bring it closer, okay, that's it, it's cooking, it should cook until you, you don't see any green um, in the sauce, it should become a little bit like a brown. So, while it's cooking, I'm going to add just a little bit of It's like this. I'm adding the sesame oil. Bring the camera near so that you see what's going on. At this point, I'm going to add my Maggi cube because the reason why I didn't add it earlier on because the, the uh, sauce that I'm using to cook the cassava leaf already has um, some salt in it. So I want to see if it is okay to use how many Maggi cube I will use, whether we use um, two or continue to use one okay appear to have much salt so now I'm going to add the two maggi cube and then I'm going to put a little add a little bit of water so So continue to cook properly the leaf should be cooked properly before you add any oil so at this point I'm adding
some chicken cup full of chopped onions So that so cooks. Please like and share this video because there are some people who would love to know how to cook their young cassava leaf. Okay. Here in this cup is um, crushed Maggi cube, both two Maggi cubes. So I'm going to add it to the sauce, to the palava sauce. Now I'm going to use a wooden spoon. Most people say if you use um, an eman enamel spoon, um, it gets the palava sauce black, darker. The leaves get darker. But I don't know whether that is true. If you notice, this is a, a whole pepper that I did put. I have not crushed it, nothing. Okay. And this is um, a dessert, dessert spoon peanut butter I'm adding. That's enough for me. I leave it to cook. Now, this is the kidney beans i have not added this yet i think i'll add it just be five minutes before i remove it from the um, stove that's the uh, kidney bean so that it doesn't because it's already cooked I've, i removed it from the can This is the can. But all the preservatives that they use, I have to wash it before I put it in my food. You can buy the raw one and boil it yourself. Well, it takes a lot of time. And I don't want to delay my cooking. And I don't want to even waste my... Because you can use pressure cooker in doing that. I don't want to waste my gas. 
Oh no, I'm not using gas, I'm using electric cooker. So yeah. now if you have to put the um, pepper, hot pepper to your taste. Like I said, I will crush the pepper when I'm just about to finish because I just don't want to overload it with uh, Now, this is the pan cannel oil which I'm going to use to uh, complete the cooking. Okay, at this point I want to remove a little bit of this sauce just in case my granddaughter doesn't like the what you call it the No, the um, pan cannel oil. So I'm going to yeah one just two of this uh, um, spoon. It's like two tablespoon. No, one yeah, two tablespoon. It. If you see the oil is not enough for you, in whether it's this um, palm kernel oil you use, but the smell is fantastic with the palm kernel oil. <sighs> My Africa is still coming back, it has come back to me because the smell of it is fantastic. So now what is next to do i'm going to add my kidney stuff add my kidney stuff and then this it is um we call it jacato as i've explained in the ingredients but i put it here with onion because i just want them to be the last thing that i will add and then after adding this i will add the okra Jakarta makes it a little bit tastier because it's got a bitter taste if you get a bitter one or it might be sweet it's lovely and this food can be eaten with rice fantastic Ready to cook for two to three minutes, and then we can add the okra. Mmm, 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 lovely. After cooking it. 
I'm going to heat up some rice that I prepared earlier on and show you what I'm doing. Um, be, make sure you um, be careful how you style it because you get the fish will be squashed. So this is it. Okay, now I'm going to add my okra. the okra and I'm just going to add it some people put like dried okra or they put um, what you call this thing tola I don't know what it's called in English but this is um, African food and cooking so it's I'm using the African name I think it's spelled t-o-l-a tola and it's a reddish thing you can cook it separately as a sauce or you can use it with the powder to flavor the uh, um, sauce but before you use it to flavor any sauce you have to mix it with a little bit of um, water or palm oil so that it sort of glued the palm oil and makes it stable a bit in the sauce okay all right now because i didn't use a lot of um let me turn at this point you can turn the the gas or your electric uh, uh, temperature down um continue to stir it a bit so that the okra is all mashed submerged in the so yeah that's my rice finished i'm going to check my rice if it is finished because i want to show you how it looks like it's a fantastic food Okay, I'm going to put the camera down in a minute. 